All right, folks, so today on the channel, we're going to be taking a look at the process of batch converting PS2 ISO or bin and Q files, two of the most popular formats used in PS2 emulation, to the compressed CHD file format. The process of converting ISO or bin and Q files to CHD is pretty straightforward and it will save you a good chunk of storage space. So let's head over to the PC and we'll take a look and see how that's done. The first thing you'll need are some game files to convert and you can see here that I have the Rumblefish and Darkwatch ISO files on the left hand side of my desktop. Once we've got all our game files situated, we're going to head over to the Internet Archive real quick to grab a copy of the CHD Man program and you can download a copy of that by clicking the link here. Once your file is done downloading, just head over to wherever your file is downloaded to and extract the CHD Man folder to your desktop. Next, double click to open the CHD Man folder and right click on the Q or GDI to CHD.bat file and select Edit. The bat file will open in Notepad and we're just going to make one small change to the command prompt. Click to place your cursor straight after asterisk.gdi and type comma space asterisk. Dot ISO. Once you're done with that, click the X in the top right corner of the window to close Notepad, and then click the Save button when prompted to save your changes. Next, grab your game files and drag them into the root of the CHD Man folder. If you have games in bin and Q format, you can drop the individual bin and Q files straight into the root of the folder as well. Once the files have all finished moving over, double click the bat file to run the conversion process. If you've added multiple games, you'll see CHD Man batch converting these files one after the other until they're all done. This process will take a few minutes to run, especially if you've added multiple games, but just wait until the process completes and the new CHD files will be created in the root of the CHD Man folder. Compression results will vary depending on the game, but in this case, you can see we've saved a pretty substantial amount of space with a savings of over 4 gig on the Rumblefish and almost 2 gig on Dark Watch. Pretty cool. So that's the quick guide on how to batch convert ISO or bin and Q format files to CHD. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.